Well, hello. This is going to be my first attempt to do a video post in English. Uh, I'm a bit rusty in talking in English, so this is a great way to practice and also a good way to reach more people. You all know my blog is all in Portuguese, but the other day I was talking about this book I'm going to talk today on Facebook when the author showed up and I'm like, well, I'm going to finish the book and no one else besides uh, people who understand Portuguese will know if I liked or not unless I go to Goodreads and see how many stars I, I get. So this is what I'm going to talk about today. The Steampunk Bible uh, by Jeff Henry and a bunch of uh, many other people. So I, I like Steampunk. I've read a few books. Uh, and I've been in love with this uh, book for a while now, so I finally decided to, to get it from Book Depository, uh, along with another book I used for college. But I've kind of carried this around for a week or so to, to school, uh, to, to read on the bus, so, well, you, you see, I like the book when I read it in less than a week. So this is, if you need to learn, or if you want to learn a bit more about steampunk, and what the hell is this, you, this is a great way to start, obviously. You can uh, read about the literature part, you can read about design, about um, uh, fashion, music, and uh, you can learn, well, a lot. The one thing uh, I didn't like, and this is funny. This is why Jeff Vandermeer actually commented on my Facebook page, my personal Facebook page, is because I was all happy in college. I was reading this while waiting for a class to start. So when I reached page 42, I found a close, let this close uh, reference, and I'm like, no, and it closed the book really, really scared because I'm really tired of reading uh, about that person and reading things written by him and I'm like, no, not here, not here but then uh, I continued my reading and thank god I did because this really is a great edition, it's hardcover you can see, it's I think my only book that I've covered besides the bible the text of the bible so this is a good change, I don't know where to put it because as you may see there are books everywhere, almost. I have some on the floor. This is my bedroom, so it's a bit... And that's my name, my blog's name, books everywhere. <laughs> this is, and this is why. I, I have the mirror here, which is now being uh, covered with books. So, the steampunk title. Let's go back to the steampunk. We have really, really good design, as you may see. You can have, you, you, you enjoy, besides the, the articles and the learning part, you actually enjoy the visual, because simple is really, really graphic. I shouldn't be doing this with the book, because it's really it, but I have a window cover there, and the light just pours in and messes up the pages with the light. So, see, we have book references, we have movies, comics, we have examples of um, the clothes and the simple fashion. They also speak of other kinds of punk. You can also learn where the, the origins of the word steampunk, which is really cool. When you usually are reading a fantasy, Victorian novel, romance, or whatever, it doesn't usually explain what in what genre it fits and why it's there and the characteristics. Obviously, after after a few books, you do understand the, what links them all. But well, if you want, and I regret not getting this sooner, but it's. It's sometimes complicated to get new books, and I actually, my problem is uh, 
my computer is shutting down. And my problem is right now not the money, obviously, but where to actually put it. I'm, I'm considering putting it over my, my Harry Potter collection. So, what do you think about steampunk? Uh, have you have you read this, the, the steampunk Bible? What do you think? Uh, do you like it? So leave your comments on the comment box below, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus. I I'm trying to use Google Plus, but I think that can be useless. Go Facebook, go. <laughs> A big hug to Jeff and Ernie and everyone who worked on this on this pretty pretty book. I will really really love it. And just one other question, do you think I, I'm that bad in speaking in English? And I'm really, really sorry if I, well, killed the language. Oops, sorry, in advance. So I'm going to try to do this more often. I think it wasn't that bad, awful, terrible. I should stop. So comment, say something, have fun. And what kind of fun do you like more? Bye.